Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be talking about uh, how to make a GUI from scratch in MATLAB. Uh, so the first thing that you want to do is you want to type in guide into the command window, press enter, and it will bring up this, uh, this menu, and you want to click the blank GUI, click OK, and it will open up this GUI uh, maker window. Okay, so try to have a vision uh, or a drawn out copy of what you want before you start. So I'm going to make a simple GUI. Uh, just so that you can see how it's done, um, and then we can always get more uh, intense later on. So what I'm going to do is a simple addition subtraction GUI to show you some of these buttons. So the first one I want to add in is uh, edit text, two edit texts, so I'm going to just copy that, and you'll see what these do later. And then a static text, copy that, and then I'm going to take a pop-up menu here. And I'm going to take a, another static text here, and then a push button here. So pretty much it's going to take two numbers, this one, this one, and I'm going to select whether I want to add or subtract them here, and it's going to show the answer here after I push the push button. So I've gotten this all set up in here first, uh, and then, but I'm not going to click save yet. So first I want to change what these actually say. So this one. Uh, I'm going to change, so I'm going to change a few fields in these uh, inspector, in this inspector window. So uh, you can see the first, I'm changing the static text. Uh, so the, there's a couple fields that you should be interested in. The first one is a string field, the second one is a tag field, um, and then the units field can also be useful. But those are really the, the three that I that I use most of the time. So in terms of the string, I want this just to say the first number. It's just the first number I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change. And then here, text first number. I try to keep them the same so that I know what I'm talking about. And I always leave this in the tag. I always leave, uh, it'll say text for the text. Uh, in the edit, it'll say edit. In the pop-up menu, it'll say pop. So I try to leave that in there so I know what I'm talking about and you'll see why. Uh, okay, so I'm going to set those. Those are fine. Now I'm going to go to the second one. Again, go down to tag or uh, string first, and this will be the second number. Okay, and then text again, second number. That's fine. I'm going to go to edit text. In the edit text, again, go down to the string, same way. I'm going to put that, this as 5 to start off with. I'm going to call this edit first number. And then in this one, again, go down, oops, go down to string. I'll make this 10. And I'm going to change this to edit second number. These are, this are different than the, than the text because it says edit here. Uh, and then in the static text, I don't want anything before I press that button, so I'm just going to leave that blank, and then I'm going to put text answer like that. The push button, I want it to say calculate, so I change that to calculate, and then I leave this as push calculate. Okay, and the last one, this one's a little bit trickier, but not really at all, is that you want to change this, but you click this button here to bring up this uh, string menu or where you can enter in your string. So I'm going to add. I'm going to put in add, and then enter, and then subtract, and I'm going to press OK. OK, so now that I have all those lined up essentially where I want them to, I'm just going to shrink this down because I don't need it that big, and now I'm going to uh, press Control S to save it, and I'm in my GUI folder, so I'm just going to call this uh, simple GUI, like that, save it, OK, of course I already have one because I just made this, I'm going to save that again. I'm going to call it uh, GUI Tutorial. Okay, there we go. So it makes uh, two files. So you can see over here it makes a .m file and a .fig file. Okay, so the .m file is where the code is. The .fig file is what I just had. Is what I just had up here. This <clears throat> where you can edit all the buttons and stuff. Okay, so we have these two. Uh, the first thing, uh, let me see, the first thing I want to do is I want to delete some extra stuff in here. Uh, you might want it later on, but I, I just delete it. It has some useful information, but I don't like all the extra junk. So I'm going to delete that. I delete this here. Again, you can take a look at this in your own, but I don't really like it in here uh, because of the way that I set everything up. So I delete all this stuff. Okay. And one of the things, I'm just going to copy something from one of my other files. So first of all, I need to copy over my header that I usually put in here. Uh, yep. So I put my header up here. Simple so we'll example, and then I also there's two sections that I copy in, and the first one is initialization. 
I put it right down underneath this var argout. So that's my big initialization section. And then I have another one called uh, callbacks. And this just helps me access my code better when I, when I want to change stuff. So then you go down to all these things that look kind of uh, intimidating. But what you do is, or what I do is, I, again, get rid of all this extra code. Only the comments, though. Not the actual stuff that's, you know, not comments. So I'm getting rid of all this. Just bear with me for a second. Okay, and then that one. Okay, so then you can see that there's some that say create function here, and there's some that say callback. And um, I guess I didn't change the pop up menu string. Um, oops. Okay, so let me see. In my inspector, my pop up menu string, yeah, it just says pop up menu. So I'm going to do pop operation. Okay, and then I'm going to click here, press control save, and it changes it to pop operation here. So anytime you want to make a change in this, you can just click here or click in this window, press save, and then it'll change it in your actual code. Okay, so I want to take all the, so there's create functions and there's callbacks. So I want to take all the create functions, which are essentially initializing uh, these buttons, and I want to move them all up into my, uh, into my initialization section. So I'm just going to take all these, I'm just moving them right now up into initialization, and that's where they're going to sit, and I'm not going to touch those. And now, so I, now I have these functions in here. And what I do is I, to make it easier for later on, I put this as the kind of a header. Uh, so, so this is the first number. And again, bear with me, this just makes it easier on me for later on. Edit. It's not an edit, but I'll change this. This is also not an edit. So this is actually a, oops. A pop up and this is a push. Okay, this is the second number. This is the operation. This is oops, the daisy. This is the calculation button. Okay, this is a little sloppy right now, but that's just because I'm trying to hurry it up because I know people's attention spans are pretty short. Okay, so in this uh, in this edit. Uh, what we're going to do is we want to get the number from the edit field first. So this first number we're going, uh, we're in here. We want to get this number and put it into, um, we, we, okay, we just want to get the number from the actual field. So uh, what we can do is we are going to call it first num. And we're going to say it's equal to string to double get handles. Dot, and then this is the uh, the tag that we used. So edit first number. You can remember we set that, and it's a string. So we're getting the string. So what this is doing is it's saying it's getting the string in this edit first number, and it's going to convert that string to a double, and that's going to be our first num, the variable first num. Uh, and then we want to send the first num variable to the overall base workspace. So I didn't mention this before, but the, this variable right now, if I ran this, it would, it would only exist in this function right here. I wouldn't be able to use it in this function or in the add in when I calculate it. I wouldn't be able to add these two numbers because they don't exist in these different functions. So what you can do is you use uh, two functions, um, assign in and eval in. So I want to br basically bring everything into this workspace over here, and that's the, my base workspace. It's called base. So you can use this assign in. It brings it into the base. It'll in the base it'll be called. I'll call it first num because I like to keep the variables the same. And it's going to put in first num from this function. So it's going to put first num this first num into a variable first num in the base. So it'll show up here. And I want to do the same thing here, except this is second num again here. Second num, and again one more time like this. Okay, save that. Okay, so now we have those. They're going to be brought into the workspace. Uh, the next thing that we want to do is to get what the actual operation we want is. So it's going to either going to be add or subtract. So the first thing we do is we get a cell array of what's in the string field. So you can remember in the string field I had add, and then I also had subtract. So I'm going to call this pop contents is equal to cell string get. And this is where you can read more about like objects and stuff, but I'm just going to go through how to set up a GUI, essentially. And then, this is pop 
operation variable. I'm going to take pop contents. I'm going to get the h object value. Oops. Okay. And then here we're going to set a variable based off of what the actual operation is that we want. So I'm going to say if, and you may use the string compare function to compare the pop operation. If it's add, then I'm going to set the variable operation to one, and then an else if, I know I can just use else, but I just like to double check, pop operation, and then if it's subtract, set it equal to two, and end, and then again I want to assign in this operation variable, so I assign it in to the variable operation in the base, like this. Okay, so that's all we need in the pop in the pop-up field and now we're going to do the push button so what actually happens when you push the button oops okay so we set this set this got this now we just want to push the button and get a result here and again we're not doing anything with these these are just static fields that we don't want to uh to alter because it's just saying it's the first number or the second number okay so when we push the button we want to add the two values based on whichever the operation is. So remember that I sent the operations and the numbers into the workspace. Now I have to evaluate them back into this function so I can use them. So the first thing I want to do is use eval in. So I'm going to say first num is equal to eval in from the base. And I'm taking first num from the base, setting it equal to first num in this function. Second num, eval in from the base, second num. And then I also want to take operation in. So eval in from the base operation. Okay. And now in an if statement, I'm just going to say if the operation is add, then the answer is equal to the first num plus second num. And then now what I want to do is I want to set the value of this field here. So I use the set handles dot and then the tag of this field was text answer if you recall and I'm going to set it to a string and the string is going to be the answer that we just had and uh, let's see else if we want the operation if it's subtract and the answer is equal to the first num minus the second num like this and set the handles dot text answer String answer. And that. Okay. And then from this. Okay, so then one of the things I haven't put something in this code because I'm going to show you what it does if you don't put it in the code. But let's see, barring any mistakes that I have, we can see if this runs. Okay, so it runs. So I, I run it and I get this popping up. You can see I can change these values in here. I can change this. But first, I'm going to try to calculate. You can see that nothing showed up in the workspace. I'm going to try and press calculate. And I'm going to get an error. And it's going to be because I don't have any of these. I don't have anything that I'm calculating in my workspace. So how do I uh, get around this? What I do in my code is I go up here. And in between this handles that output equals h object and the GUI data h object handles, I initialize my, my variables. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say first num is equal to 5, second num is equal to 10, and operation is equal to 1. So those are my initial values, and that coincides with what I have here. The first num is 5, the second num is 10, and this is add. Okay, and then I want to assign these into the base so that I have them available. So I'm going to assign them into the base in the same way that I did before. First num base, second num, and then the same with the operation. Like this, okay. So now I shouldn't have a problem when I run this. So I run it, you can see that they show up in the workspace immediately. When I press calculate, you can see the number pops up here is 15. I can change this to subtract, and it changes to a negative 5. Um, if I didn't add that code up there, then I can also, so let me just comment this out really quick. 
and it'll work in the same way except that they're okay well they still are because I didn't clear these values okay but if I run this now you can see that they don't pop up again I can click in here press enter it shows up click here press enter click here press add and it shows up and then it'll work uh, but that's a little tedious so I like to set it up initially where I have these uh, where I have these values already in the workspace uh, so that's just a simple uh, this is a simple GUI one of the simplest GUIs that you can make just to show you the functions of some of the buttons and how to set up a, a working code I'm going to go into more depth GUIs uh, later on and into some cool functions uh, that might help you out so thanks for watching